So what do we really think is, is, uh, is wrong that needs uh, fixing in the South African economy? And I think there are a couple of broad themes that we can probably agree on. The first is that red tape um, across the economy is something that we need to be uh, mindful of. We also need to be mindful of regulatory inefficiencies. Uh, one of the things that we are very concerned about as, as DTI is we accept the need for EIAs, we accept the need uh, for companies to apply for water use licenses. One of the questions for us though is uh, why the turnaround times are relatively low. Um, if we're going to apply for an, uh, an EIA, we would like to see a situation where EIA decisions, the record of decision, is provided in the shortest possible time with quite clear guidelines around what those turnaround times are supposed to be. Similarly with water use licenses, we have a number of companies regularly complaining to us that we would like to make this investment. We've been waiting to get an answer in terms of uh, the application for a water use license. So I think red tape on the one hand, uh, regulation that serves no useful economic purpose, um, that's something that hopefully we can all agree is something we need to remove. A second area is around uh, making sure that regulatory efficiency is uh, built into the way that uh, we as government do, do business. Um, a, third, a third area that I'd like to put on the table would be around what we can do to improve business confidence. Now, as I was saying uh, at the start, um, I don't think that the investment uh, performance of South Africa uh, has been so poor that we need to begin to ask questions about whether uh, uh, there are opportunities for the private sector in South Africa. I think under the circumstances, our investment performance has been um, as best, uh, as good as we can expect. However, we do need to talk about business confidence. What is it uh, that as government we need to do uh, to support business confidence? What is it that uh, the private sector should be doing in engaging with government to ensure that we, when we talk about how do we improve business confidence, we start from a base of very specific, concrete things that needs to be done. The African economy is highly developed developed and significantly impossible to redistribute historic wealth in our lifetime. It is impossible. Economic balance sheet in excess of 8 trillion and this ownership extensively foreign owned and controlled. Besides the fact that our economy is, 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 is really uh, owned by minority white capital in this country, but also most of it is, is owned uh, uh, externally. So how do we then begin to want to reform that type of uh, uh, economy? In our lifetime it's impossible because if you want to be able to reform that economy and having to have access to the necessary resources to put in the majority of, 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 of our people, it will be difficult for us really to think we can, we can, we can measure that in our lifetime. We need therefore to be realistic and say where do we start, what is our uh, starting point, you know, uh, situation, and what are those things that are possible uh, to do? Uh, more than 60% of the employable black citizens are unskilled with no prospect of employment whatsoever because the technology, the economy, the dynamics also have, 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 have changed, you know, as it were. And we know that when, 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 when Henrik Fedwood introduced Bantu education, you know, his view was that. Black people should be trained enough to come back tomorrow. So how do we convert that resource into productive capacity? How can we use those unemployed people who are mostly in, 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 in black township? I mean, we have over 263,000 unemployed graduates. You know, how do we convert that, that resource?